Now that is what I call a massive diamond sword in the game. Look at this. <laughs> uh, within this video, I'm going to show you how to make any item massive like this diamond sword right here. It is actually incredibly simple and uses the new Minecraft 1.19.4 features. Hi there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial here on the channel and as I said within this video we're going to be going over a new feature in Minecraft 1.19.4 which came out recently and as you can see on the side of me right here we have the new sort of entity type that you can spawn in the game. This is named as an item display entity and basically it just displays an item model in the game which is very very useful. And this is a scale one item entity. So this is a diamond sword with a scale one. So this is the default scale. And within this video, I'm gonna show you how to spawn this in, but also how to make massive items like this diamond sword right here. This is a 100 scale diamond sword, and it's really easy to set this up. And you only need to do two commands in the game in order to get this to work. And uh, the one thing to bear in mind is that it is basically an invincible entity, even though it is an item. So you can't pick this item up. It's just a display entity in the game. All right, let's get straight into how to do the summoning. So how do we summon one of these new entities? So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to do the slash summon command and we're going to be doing minecraft colon and then item underscore display that is the new type and what we're going to do here is we're going to use relative coordinates which means it's going to spawn the item entity at my location in the game okay and this is where we actually get to the fun part this is where we get to decide what kind of item we want so this is how you do it, okay? You need to do an item tag like this. And then inside the item tag, you need to do ID like so. So ID, and then inside here, you put the item ID you want for that particular display. So in, in this case right here, I'm going to do Minecraft colon and then diamond underscore sword. That will give me a diamond sword. Now next to this, you need to do count colon and then 1b. So what this is essentially saying is a stack of one size for the display. And the reason why that's important is that if you do not specify the count, the display won't show anything. So it needs to be at least one to show something. Okay, so this command by itself will spawn a diamond sword item display in the game. Now the other thing that I do as well this is this is just for convenience. I also add a tag to the item entity, okay, like so. So I do tags with square brackets, and then inside here I'm going to do um, diamond sword, okay. Now the reason why I do that is it just makes it easier to target that particular entity you've, you've created or a whole group of entities you've created using this item display. And you can also, you know, target them, change them, kill them, destroy them, all those sorts of things. So tagging is very, very useful. So using this uh, command right here, you can see we've now spawned in a scale one thing. Now, how do we make it massive? <laughs> this is the next thing. So this is the second command that we need to do. Now, tagging your item will make this you know, a lot simpler in my opinion, and it just makes it easier. It's not necessary, but I will be tagging in this video, okay? So in order to increase the scale of this item, let's say I want to make it 20 times bigger. So it'll be, you know, um, it'll be quite a bit smaller. It'll be five times smaller than this guy right here. This guy is a hundred scale. We're going to do a 20 scale item. So in order to do that, you need to go near the item, like so, okay? And what we're going to do is we're essentially going to be modifying data of this item display. So we're going to do slash data modify, we're then going to do entity because we're dealing with entities here. And then we need, we're going to do at E and we're going to try and target this particular sword display, okay? And how we're going to do that, we're going to do tag and then diamond underscore sword. So that is the same tag I used 
um, when I created the display in the first place. We're then going to do limit equals one because we only want to target this one right here. And then we're going to do sort equals nearest, okay? So what that's essentially gonna do is it's gonna find the nearest diamond sword tag item display to me. And that happens to be this one that we just created right here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, this is what we're going to be modifying. We're going to be modifying uh, transformation.scale, okay? So we're going to be altering a scale attribute of this display. And what we're going to do is we're going to do set value. And then in set value, we're going to do square brackets like so. And we're going to do uh, three numbers, okay? It's going to be 20F, 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 like that, okay? And what this is essentially going to do is apply the 20 scale we want. So if I do that and run it, you can see that we now have a 20 scale diamond sword in our world. And it is that straightforward when it comes to the item displays. And this allows you to make massive item displays in the game, okay? Now, you may be wondering, how do I do any item I want? Well, this is how you do it, okay? The first thing you're going to want to make sure to do is if you use the F3 and H key, um, you need to make sure that it says advanced tooltips shown, okay? So F3 and H toggles the advanced tooltips in the game. And what that does is when you access your you know, creative mode or your inventory or whatever, when you actually hover over items in this UI, it gives you an item ID for that particular one. So let's pick something we want to do here. Let's do an enchanted golden apple. That could be quite fun. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to here. So we're going to be doing an item display again. Um, we're going to be changing the item ID to something else. So we're going to be changing it to enchanted golden apple. Okay, count one, that remains the same. And then the tag right here, we're going to do golden apple as the tag. Now, in doing that, you can see that we now have the golden apple right here, and we've spawned it in. And it even has the, you know, the glimmer or the glint effect applied to it as well, because it is an item model that gets displayed, okay? And what we can now do is increase it. So let's go kind of crazy right here. Let's go, um, let's modify the scale. So we're going to be doing tag golden apple instead, because that, that's what we're trying to target in this case. And we're going to make the scale, let's make it 100, like that big sword right there. So let's do 100 for all of these. You need to provide it for all three, otherwise the scale won't work, okay? When I say won't work, if you don't make all the numbers the same, the item will appear stretched, essentially. Uh, you need to make sure that all of them are constant across the X, Y, and Z scale that you're modifying. And if we actually do this right here, um, <laughs> uh, there is a massive enchanted golden apple right there. That is quite ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> very awesome and very cool. And you can do this with any item entity in the game or any item ID that you can think of. Now, very quickly before I end this video, I said before that using the tags makes it easier to remove them, and it does. So using the tags allows me to be able to remove this golden apple without removing all the others, okay? Now, how I actually do that is I can do uh, at kill tag equals and then golden apple, okay? Now, in doing that, that will remove the apple, but it won't remove this guy right here, okay? And I can do the same thing again. So this one that we made was diamond underscore sword. And as you can see right there, doing that has allowed us to actually remove and alter those new item displays very easily. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial. Now, I will say any commands I use in this video will be in the description of the video as well. 
So you can check that out and it will help you in anything you want to do. And this is only a small sliver of what item displays can do, make massive items, okay? It's a very simple procedure and obviously you can do a lot more. I just wanted to show you that you can make any massive item that you want, <laughs> essentially. Um, but thank you for watching everyone. If you did enjoy the video and learn something new, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, be sure to follow my Twitter, which is on screen or in the description. And yeah, enjoy those massive items because <laughs> they are something quite cool that you can add to your game. Um, you know, obviously you do need creative mode and commands to bring them in, but it could help with decoration and all sorts of other things. So give it a go while you can, I suppose. But uh, thank you, everyone. Stay happy and healthy as always, and I'll see you next time.